We are live. My name is David, and uh, I'm going to be providing an overview and analysis of a learning object. Uh, this learning object being a digital Korean textbook on costnet.com, um, I believe. So let me access this digital Korean textbook first of all. And uh, despite its name, uh, this textbook, in fact, is for uh, all ages. So this is an interactive Korean textbook. And uh, from my understanding, let me shut the sound off for a moment. From my understanding of a learning object, um, uh, I think this uh, digital Korean textbook fits the bill. Uh, first of all, um, it's interactive. Uh, there seem to be uh, defined learning goals, and uh, in addition, uh, there are visuals. So let's go to a chapter. Uh, let's go to chapter four. Okay, uh, one big assumption about this learning object is that students will already have a working knowledge of uh, Korean. Uh, that is, they'll either be able to read Korean or uh, hear uh, Korean. So let me turn the music back on. And when you go to a chapter, um, the book, uh, the chapter begins with an animation which sets the context for the structures and the language that will be used. Uh, well, that will be taught in the chapter. Okay. So there are a few items to choose from. And here's the exploration part, the introduction. And um, this chapter goes through all of these sections in order. Proceed by hitting this button here at the very bottom. And let me uh, provide an overview of some of the features in this chapter. Uh, whenever you see a mouse, you can click on it and hear a prompt. In addition, you can click on ABC and get an English translation. Okay. Hello. I think I need to click on things here. It doesn't seem to be working. Anyway, um, you click on things and um, then there are some uh, audio prompts and then there are activities. Uh, there are also teaching tips. This is actually a teaching tip. Um, there's also uh, flashcards. So you can see these are flashcards and a dictionary. So each chapter is replete with these three options. And in fact, this dictionary can be uh, translated. Okay. How can this be used for teaching and learning? Um, in a classroom context, I think uh, students can be given time to explore um, uh, the interface, first of all, to, uh, to become accustomed to it. And then I think uh, the real potential is in using the structures and then students supplying their own vocabulary. So, for instance, uh, a student can use this structure, uh, who is this person, and then um, they can go around the classroom and rather than say, uh, they can say the student's name. All right, so they can substitute the vocabulary. Uh, while maintaining the structure. Okay, so I think that's um, a good way to um, introduce several structures uh, using this uh, interactive uh, textbook for students' independent study, uh, perhaps a preview or perhaps homework, and then in class, in the classroom, the gang students actually utilize this structure in conversation. Oh, you can also record things as well. And I think that's about it for this uh, Korean textbook learning object.